Kevin O'Leary, Canada's dragon and America's shark, says don't ever buy a car but use ride sharing services like Uber and Lyft instead. You're thinking about buying a car. Let me give you a new idea. Don't. Well, is he right? Could you actually save more money this way instead of buying a car? Well, what does he exactly say? The car's value depreciates over time. Okay, that's true. When you need to leave the city, rent a car. Okay. Car maintenance and insurance costs a fortune. Hell yeah. Even if you use a car every day to go to work, it's still cheaper to use a ride sharing service because you can choose the level of luxury and share the cost with another rider. Okay. He doesn't need it, so why should you? Don't get stuck parking $25,000 into a car. I don't need it, why should you? I guess that's a flawless argument. So let's do the math. So let's say we decide to get a 2019 Honda Accord sedan for about $29,000. And let's say we put that into our Excel sheet. And for gas, let's say that we spend about $350 per month. And let's say that's 12 months in a year. And let's say we decide to keep this car for about 10 years. So we'll do that for 10 years. So that's about $42,000 in gas. For all changes that you might have to do. Let's say that um, for a Honda Accord, it's $50 per oil change. Let's say you change it twice in one year and then you do that for 10 years that gives you a thousand dollars in oil changes so let's say there's four hundred dollars in terms of major maintenance that happens every two years so within a span of 10 years you're going to be doing that five times so four hundred dollars times five and let's say that we add on to this a thousand dollars in new tires because in 10 years you might need new tires and let's, let's say that's a thousand dollars the major maintenance that's three thousand dollars and for insurance let's say it's around a thousand seven hundred dollars for a 2019 accord depending on which insurance company you go with in toronto it might be different in the u.s but let's say this is also what you'll be paying for about 10 years so that brings it for 10 for 10 years it's a twenty nine thousand dollar car with gas oil changes major maintenance and insurance um in canada i believe yeah so the twenty nine thousand dollars includes freight pdi uh, levies and fees but does not include applicable applicable taxes so let's add well we'll multiply this by 1.13 because in in canada the, the tax is about 13 percent i don't know if it's eight or seven percent but let's leave it at that so let's say it comes up to thirty two thousand dollars with taxes so this is what we're looking at so for a span of 10 years you're looking at ninety five thousand dollars yearly we'll divide it by 10 just equal to this divided by 10 so you're looking at almost nine ten thousand dollars yearly so let's look at it monthly which is that divided by 12 798 dollars so 800 dollars per year sorry per month and let's look at that per day so per day that comes out to that divided by let's say 30 so 26 dollars canadian per day to have a car for 10 years so you had asked the question in one day how many times are you going to be using uber or lyft or any other ride sharing service and is it going to be under 26 dollars if it's not going to be under 26 dollars it's better to buy a car rather than using these ride sharing services but let's say you're like Kevin and you buy a high, highly valuable car. Let's say you go out and buy this Mercedes 2018 GLE 400 automatic SUV, which starts at $73,000. So let's say $73,000. $73,000. Times 1.13 for tax. And let's say for gas, it consumes maybe 450 per month oil changes maybe a hundred dollars twice a year major maintenance let's bump this up to 900 
and insurance might be slightly higher I believe to 1900 so that still comes out to around $45 per day even if you own a Mercedes SUV so at the end of the day for the average Joe it seems like owning a car is a lot better than using ride sharing services but Let's say you can't afford the monthly payments for these cars, even if it's like Mercedes or if it's a Honda Accord, you can't afford the financing rates, the inter interest rates, and it comes to around $450, $500 per month, and the job that you're working at the moment does not afford you to buy a car like that, then during those times it might be better to have ride-sharing services or even better yet, use public transportation as Kevin had mentioned. But for the most part, it turns out that unless you're in those situations, it's more beneficial to buy a car than use ride sharing services. So Kevin O'Leary, Mr. O'Leary, you are dead wrong. Bad boy, baby.